Good evening, this is Luke Holmquist at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is uh, 10, 17 in the evening <clears throat> on Monday, April 12th, 2021. And um, it's very, very quiet across the world and across California right now, as far as earthquakes go. And that usually means one thing, a big earthquake is about to happen. So let's, uh, let's start with the warning for uh, Los Angeles and Southern California. Right now in California, we have a very high risk across the area from uh, Santa Maria to Santa Barbara to Los Angeles to Ridgecrest and Barstow. And that is from right now, the 12th into the 13th. And on the 13th and the 14th, it's centered out near Ridgecrest, Barstow and down to the Salton Sea and still in Southern California. Um, so looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California, this risk remains very high across the Southern portion of California. And it's very, very quiet. You'll notice here, uh, no earthquakes, uh, 2.5 or larger during the last 24 hours. And, uh, only 89, uh, quakes, smaller quakes across the California Nevada area. And across the world, usually there's about 25, 30, and right now there's only 15. So it's very quiet, quiet across the world. There was a 4.3 earthquake down here in Northern New Zealand, and that was in our warning area. We'll look at that real quick here in New Zealand. And you can see we have very high risk there. That's still very high risk for the next uh, 24 hours or so. And that's where that 4.3 occurred. So uh, let's go back through all the forecast again. And we'll start at the beginning. California, strong earthquake is likely in the southern portion of California, most likely in the area northwest of Los Angeles to Ridgecrest to Barstow during the next 48 hours. Same here on the 13th and the 14th. And in Alaska, the risk is uh, 12th to 13th and 13th to 14th. Here's when the risk gets uh, very high around the Anchorage area. That's the April 14th to the 15th, when we could get a 5.0 earthquake or larger in the Anchorage area on the 14th and 15th. So watch for that. In Chile, the risk is centered right now close to Santiago, Chile, 12th into the 13th right here. Here's a Santiago, Chile, and there's La Serena. So in between La Serena and Santiago, Chile, expect a 5.0 to 5.5 and uh, during the next 24 hours. And then that risk moves uh, east of uh, Santiago after that. In Italy, the risk across uh, the north, uh, east central Italy right now. And then uh, the 12th and the 13th across northern Italy. And then on the 14th and 15th, just a moderate risk down in the south. So the highest risk right now during the next 24 hours is in the northern portion of Italy and the far south part of Italy. In Japan, the risk right now is right here, southeast of Tokyo. This could produce a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake southeast of Tokyo. And then the risk uh, is farther east after that. In the Philippines, Northern Philippines right now, the 11th to 12th, 12th to 13th, same thing, Northern Philippines. And all the way down, well, on the 13th, 14th into the 15th, a significant earthquake risk across the Southern portion of the Philippines beginning on the 14th and 15th. In Greece, the risk right now is on this map here is in the northeast portion of Greece, and that could produce a 4.0 to 
And then on the 14th and 15th, uh, the risk is up here in uh, Bulgaria. And that could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 on the 14th to the 15th. In Hawaii, the risk is highest on the 13th and 14th, kind of a moderately high 75% risk there, not extreme risk at all. Central America, uh, 60 to 65% risk here in Western Guatemala. And then the highest risk looks like it's gonna be in the 13th and the 14th, tomorrow into the 14th, uh, across to Honduras to El Salvador mostly. And then the risk is down the Western El Salvador and Southeast Guatemala on the 14th and 15th. And here's our legend on the side here, side of the, the maps. A lime green is 50%, yellow is 75%, and 95 is red, 95% risk. All right, here's a place to watch right now during the next uh, 24 hours, and that's Indonesia. Uh, there's very high risk um, south of the island of Java, especially on the 13th into the 14th and 14th into the 15th. So we could get another 6.0 earthquake just off the coast of Java from the 13th through the 15th of April. And in Taiwan, the risk is up mostly near the Ryukyu Islands right now. Uh, the northern portion of the Ryukyu Islands. And then on the uh, 14th and the 15th, we get a significantly high risk across northern Taiwan, which could produce a 4.5 on the 14th into the 15th. State of Washington. Uh, 75% risk across Idaho during the next 24 hours, Northern Idaho, Northern Idaho on the 13th and 14th, and then uh, pretty quiet after that. In uh, Turkey, uh, high risk in the Northwest part of Turkey, the 12th into the 13th, and uh, moderately high risk across Northeastern Turkey on the 14th and the 15th. And the Caribbean, um, 75, 75, 80, looks like the highest risk is on the 13th and the 14th across uh, Philippines and Haiti and Dominican Republic, uh, 75 to 80% risk. So moderately high risk across there on the 13th and 14th of April, not a huge risk, but high risk. And in New Zealand, as we mentioned uh, early on, there's a very high risk across Northern New Zealand right now. And they just got a 4.3 right up here in uh, far Northern New Zealand, right in here. And uh, still could get a 6.0 earthquake up here. This is a very high risk in the North part of New Zealand during the next 24 hours. Still high risk on the 14th and 15th as well. And one more map, Ecuador and Peru. Risk continues in the Northwest part of Peru, Southwest portion of Ecuador. And then let's see, 13th of the 14th. So the risk continues in that same spot, Northwest Peru through the next uh, 48 hours. And one more time, I it's very, very quiet. And usually it's the quiet before the storm. Uh, expecting a strong earthquake here, northwest of LA to the Ridgecrest to Barstow area of Southern California during the next 24 to 36 hours. I'm surprised it didn't hit uh, yesterday or today, but uh, again, it's very quiet. And usually that means we're gonna have a significant earthquake somewhere, especially around uh, California right here in Southern California. So be on alert in Southern California. We could get a strong earthquake during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, most likely in the area I mentioned between uh, Santa Maria, 
Northwest LA, Ridgecrest, and Barstow. All right, thanks for watching again today. Today is uh, Monday evening, and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night, Tuesday. And uh, usually when you get, uh, when it gets very quiet, right now there's 14, now it's 13 now, 13 earthquakes, significant earthquakes across the world. And usually it's about 25 to 30 earthquakes on average during the day. So when it gets quiet like that, uh, you can expect a large earthquake uh, at any time. So be on alert, especially in Southern California for a strong earthquake during the next 24 to 36 hours. Thank you so much. Again, this is Luke Holmquist, quickprediction.com here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you already subscribed, thank you to the 165,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe.